What is going on guys? So I hope everyone's having a great day. You know where we're at. We're at the Tech Buds house. We got the GTR, we got the 720S. I wanted to just talk to you guys about something that I saw in the Flipping Wheels group chat um, of a group member that found a good deal in theory. I wanted to explain what we found and why it might not actually be a good deal overall. So this video is gonna be really informational. It's not gonna be that funny, um, but it's really something that everyone can benefit from watching this video and it is if you are going to buy and resell a car, um, buy, whether you're buying it from Craigslist, whether you're buying it from Facebook Marketplace, whether you're buying it from OfferUp, and you think it's an individual, and you see that this older model car is extremely clean, one, I want you to go into that deal more skeptical. Um, you know, Typically, if the owner has had this car and it's a 05, 06, it's 10 years old, it's 12 years old, it's 15 years old, it should be a little bit dirty around the door jams in the engine bay. It should have a film of dust on it. If it is extremely clean, this does not mean say no to the car, but we found one online um, that was really, really clean and it almost made it more skeptical because it looked like it just had come off the lot and the price was way too cheap um, for what it was listed at. So it was almost like it wasn't adding up. The owner was kind of being weird saying it was his. He's had it for a couple years. The stories didn't line up. Um, but, you know, the, the member in the Flipping Wheels group chat wanted to pursue it. So I was like, okay, um, you know, just be cautious because you must understand if a car is 20 years old, there's going to be some grease, some dust, some dirt in those door jams and stuff like that. And you know, if this car is immaculate, like it's right off the lot, there could be a reason why this seller, the private seller in theory, but probably a reseller or you know, someone that's buying and reselling from their house or whatever it may be, um, is not telling you the truth about the whole car. So I want you to go into the deal, please go into the deal more skeptical. If you're looking at an older car that looks cleaner than some 2018s, please, it could have an oil leak, check underneath that car. Look in the engine bay. If you see that the black plastics maybe on the engine cover, maybe that shroud on the front radiator cover, if you rub your finger on it and it's slick and slimy and greasy, it could have tire shine on it. That could be a very good indicator. Here's a good picture above of what I'm talking about of what an engine bay that's extremely clean with tire shine actually looks like. And if it's on an older car, it could actually be more skeptical. I myself go into a deal more cautious when I see stuff like this on older cars. So whenever you go and look for these deals, please be cautious of this stuff. Look for power steering leaks. They could be, you know, degreasing that whole engine bay, trying to get rid of a leak um, when you come and look at it. Uh, I just don't want you guys to fall into a deal that could potentially cost you a lot of money and you're not able to break even whenever you go to resell it or you can't sell it for a profit. So I just wanted to leave you guys with this. This is not a long video, but it's very important that you understand when it becomes too clean for that year model. So if it's a 2000, it's 2001, 2002, 2003, it could be too clean and you need to really take that into consideration that it could be a reseller and not the actual person selling it and just be more cautious with it. Yes, it could actually be real, but understand you always have to assume the worst in this market um, in order to minimize your risk and maximize either your profit or so that you can break even whenever you go to resell it down the road. I just wanted to share this short clip with you guys. Um, you know, a car like this, will probably be in immaculate shape because it's a supercar. It's gonna be garage kept. It's still new. You probably won't see anything in the door jams. You probably won't see any dirt in the, in the engine bay. Um, but an older vehicle, maybe even like this F-150 right here, you can expect stuff in the door jams. You can expect stuff in the engine bay. But you have to understand what you're going to look at and you know what is acceptable for that year model and mileage. Always take all that stuff into consideration. This is very important when you go and buy and resell cars. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. I want everyone in the Flipping Wheels group, hope you guys watch this video. It's very important. And um, it's just another piece of information that I wanna share with you guys like I do on a daily basis. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, please, please, please be cautious with all these deals. There can be a lot of money to be made, but you have to, be aware of all these little issues and all these little tactics that you can utilize to minimize your risk and maximize your profits. But again, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys wanna learn more about what we do on a daily basis, I promise you guys, it is worth it. Just click that first link down below. Learn a little bit more about a new market that could potentially make you 500, 1500 to $2,500 a month, and you can enjoy cool cars eventually 
and maybe work your way up into this point or maybe even that GTR. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.